as promised, here's our next Art Snacks video featuring the March 2017 Art Snacks box. Let's get to it. So, with this box, it was the birthday month of Art Snacks and their anniversary box. So they have their cute little star shape, uh, star shape, their cute little star tissue paper as opposed to their normal green. And they gave out an Art Snacks magnet rather than an Art Snacks sticker. And that was pretty cool. So in this box, I got it because of the colors mainly. Um, they come with these beautiful watercolors um, from, if I can find it, looks like Graham and Company watercolor, but they're just in a beautiful shade of like this, this one's called Terra Rosa, so it's kind of like, um, like a pinky terracotta, and then just a nice white but the display piece that they had made on their site was just so pretty and I might be able to find a picture of it and put it in. Um, so there are those, they come two uh, five fluid, uh, .5 fluid ounce tubes um, or 15 milliliters um, and they're, they're pretty hefty. I'm excited to use them because these are my first kind of more uh, professional watercolors. Um, and then comes with the Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press Watercolor Paper. And so I've never used um, a hot press watercolor paper. I don't even think I've ever really paid attention to what kind of watercolor paper I used. I'm pretty sure it's always been a cold press though. Um, so this is my first um, watercolor paper that's professional as well. Um, and you can see it comes in a little bound pad. It's very small, fits in, fits in my hand. This would be really cute with like a travel set to have your travel set and then this little um, pad to carry around. And then came with this coupon, but it, when, by the time I got it, it was already expired. Um, yeah, the code's not gonna work anymore. But that would have been nice if I was subscribed to Art Snacks during 2017 and could then get $4 off whatever I got in the shop. Um, and then it came with a Warhead, and this time my candy wasn't crushed, so I was pretty good about that, except Warheads are not my favorite, and neither is Black Cherry. Um, so, my roommate will like it. And then lastly, the little wrap supplies. Usually like a brush and like a drawing instrument. Look how cute this tissue paper is. Oh yes. So we got the Ko Koinor Tricolor Triograph 2B Graphite Pencil. It's quite chunky. I got sent a Corinor in the in the last box and it was a really nice pencil to hold. Once again, this is really nice in your hand and it's that triangle shape, so it's not it doesn't like because I'm left-handed, I get that little bump and it doesn't dig into it with like the sides. Um it just kind of ni lays nice and flat on it and yeah, it's very nice. I'm excited to try this. And then our brush is the Protege Taclon paintbrush by Connoisseur. It says it has a water resistant wooden handle, uh, synthetic bristles, and is built to last a lifetime. Um, we'll see. I am notably horrible to my paintbrushes. But once again, I got sent a nice, um, not a round tip, I got and not a flat tip either, but I got an angled, and I like those kind of brushes too. In my last video, I mentioned how my camera battery cut out there, sorry. As I was saying, I am really excited because I usually just use um, square brushes, round brushes I found. I don't really um, have the skills to control it yet, so I am pretty excited about this brush, and I think I know what I'm gonna paint. So I'm gonna switch over to the voiceover, and let's go. Welcome to the voiceover. So, 
I thought these colors would be perfect to paint my new dog Otis. He is brown and white and the colors were kind of a reddy brown and a white. So I was like, I gotta paint my dog Otis. He's really cute. So that's what I started sketching with the uh, Triograph pencil. Um, like I was saying, it's such a nice pencil to hold. And I know that's, that's so weird, but like, I, I guess I'm kind of particular about how things feel in my hand just because I do have that little bump on my finger and if an art supply doesn't feel good to hold, you know, I can't draw. It was a nice chunky pencil, really nice and sanded, didn't feel too harsh on my fingers or anything like that. And then I just got right into painting. I didn't do much erasing. The only supplies that I used that were not from Art Snacks was a small paintbrush for uh, finer details. Just because the paper was so small, I couldn't use that big brush for um, a lot of things. And uh, my eraser, just because the pencil didn't come with an eraser. And my process is usually I sketch out the basic uh, idea for the drawing and then I'll usually ink over it and then I'll color. I didn't have anything to ink with so I just kind of made the lines as clean as I could get them with my pencil, darkened them up a little bit, and then uh, jumped into the watercolors. Now these watercolors, um, the um, the little menu from Art Snacks said that honey is used to like bind these paints and they are so creamy and just um, nice and smooth. They're almost like a gouache kind of um, and that's how I ended up using them, more like a gouache than a true watercolor. I do eventually water it down enough to make little washes of like shadow and things like that but mostly I used it as a solid um, gouache. They are opaque to an extent, um, and they were really nice to work with. From the paint to the paper, the paper claimed that it will never warp or buckle because it is a hot press. Now, I don't know if that's kind of standard for hot press paper, just because I've never really worked with watercolors, um, but I will say the claims are true. It did not warp, it did not buckle, even on that uh, really small little canvas area that it had. Um, it was completely flat. I didn't have to tape it down. As you can see, I just used it straight from the little pad. Um, even now, as the paintings are dry, there's no buckling. It's also very thick, so that might have something to do with it. Though I did kind of lay on some water just to test it out. Um, but yeah, no buckling, no warping. It lays flat. It's not all wrinkled. It's not anything like that. Uh, so... It did not lie to me, and that gives me hope that the brush will last a lifetime if I take care of it. Uh, if you have any tips on how to take care of brushes, let me know, because I have never really cared for my brushes, and now that I'm getting nicer ones, I do want to care for them uh, correctly so they do last. I think I've talked about all the supplies in the box. So I'll talk about this drawing. I first started with just a simple drawing from a reference picture of my dog Otis um, and I wanted to keep it kind of stylized and um, put him into my kind of style. I wasn't super happy with the result um, but it does look like a little cartoon version of my dog um, and because the painting was so small I did do another one um, which I'll show you. So. The second one is of him sleeping in his bed with his little teddy bear. I do have a picture of him and I can put that up and show you just to see what he looks like um, in the reference picture that I used for this painting. Um, and I'm much happier with that one. I used a couple different um, watercolor techniques that I've seen before and um, just I feel like I use the supplies better in the second one than the first one. And I'm overall really happy with these two pieces. Um, to say I don't really use watercolor and um, I haven't used a graphite pencil since I don't know when except for the last Art Snacks video. So I'm really happy with these pieces. I think they came out really, really cute. Um, and while I'm away at school, they will remind me of my little dog, Otis.
here's what I managed to make with this art snacks challenge. If you would like to see more from me and more of my videos, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye for now, guys.